Hi everyone, I'm Lara from GoSimply.ca and today I have the level 2 abs and core workout. So this one will be harder than the level 1 that I've already posted, but I will be doing an even more challenging one, level 3, in the coming weeks. So this one's going to be sort of the in-between level. So like the other formats, it will be 45 seconds on with 15 seconds to get to the next move and all you need is your mat. So our first move is going to be an imprint with our legs up in tabletop. So last time we just did the imprint, this time we're going to get up in tabletop and then sort of roll and make that flat back right on the mat and then release it a bit. And having our legs up just provides a little bit of a challenge as far as some extra weight. So really sort of pull those abdominals down and then release. It's really hard to see on camera, but you will feel it. So it should be flattening right to the mat and then releasing to sort of your natural back. Not a big arch, just natural. So we just have a few more seconds here. You can put your hands wherever they're comfortable. Excellent. So now we know what that imprint, what that zipping up the abdominal looks like, we're going to move on to our dead bug. And this time we're going to have full arms and legs extended. So we're going to be up like this and then opposite, whoops, opposite arms and legs. So from tabletop to opposite arms and legs, you can keep your um, head down on the mat, but full length here. Legs go straight out. So last time we did it where we just sort of bent leg and tapped our toe on the ground. This time we're getting that full extension for longer lever. And the longer the lever, the harder our abdominals need to work. And again, our back should be in that imprint position and our abdominals should be zipped up tight. Excellent job. So next up, we're going to do a hip dip. So we're going to get roll over into a plank position on your elbows, and we're just going to roll back inside and let our hips sort of touch the mat. So we're just going to touch and then roll to the other side. So last time we did this from our knees. Now we're trying to do it from full plank. And you may find this a big jump from knees to full plank. So you may find that you can do, you know, maybe 20 seconds of this, but not the full 45. And then you want to go to, back to your knees. That's fine. You can be sort of in an in-between phase there. That's how we improve. So just do as much as you can. And then if you need to modify that to level one, that's just fine. And then you might find that after doing a few seconds of the level one move, you can come right back. Okay, so next up we're going to do a bird dog. So last time we did it sort of one limb at a time. This time we're going to do the full opposite arms and legs and alternate through. So we're going to reach the arm forward, the leg back, and then switch sides. And again, we should have that core that belly button pulled tight to our spine. When I say the core zipped up, it's sort of that feeling like you're, you're trying to zip up a tight pair of jeans where you're like, you've got it sucked in there. So I say zip it up as if you pulled all those abdominal muscles towards your spine and hold it like that through the whole exercise. In fact, it's a really good idea to train your body to just sort of always have it zipped up like that. You know, I mean, not when you're sleeping, obviously. Okay, excellent. So next up, we're going to do a bear plank and we're just gonna hold it this time. So last time we just sort of did a raise and lower. This time we're gonna try and hold it for the whole 45 seconds. So we're in tabletop and then we use the abdominal muscles to pull the knees off the mat and we just hold. And you've got those abdominal muscles pulled back in. And like I said, it's good to learn to try and do that all the time. Now again, when you're, you know, watching TV at the end of the day on the couch, you don't have to have them, you know, sucked in then when you're just relaxing and lounging. But whenever you're walking around, sitting at the dinner table, 
it's a it's a good practice to get into if you can I have to remind myself all the time I'm not very good at it myself so you know just sort of remind yourself it will help with posture as well excellent lower the knees and next up we're going to do a mountain climber we're just going to walk it but it's more than the step back. So last time we just did and we stepped back. This time we are actually gonna be in the plank, but we're just gonna walk it in like this. Tap the toe forward, bringing the knee up. And you'll notice you get sort of a crunch. I'm trying not to have any back flexion while I do this, just a nice plank position. So the core is zipped up. The back is nice and flat. We're proud and puffed up through the chest. Just a few more seconds. You've almost made it. Excellent. Rest the knees down. And next up, we're going to do the Russian twist. This time we're going to lean back a bit. So roll over onto your bottom and get your knees up. Last time we did it straight back. Now we're just going to lean back about 45. And again, then just twist side to side. So you'll notice this is a fair bit harder. And again, you'll want to make sure that those abdominal muscles aren't bulging outward. They're not pushing out or creating a, like a pooch. That's where that zipping up the core is very important. So we just have 10 more seconds here. We're actually getting, we're over halfway through now. Excellent. And next up, we're going to do your sort of regular bicycle crunch. So we are going to extend the legs this time. So we have hands behind the nape of the neck, legs extended, and we're going to bicycle to one side and then the other, elbow to knee. Try and get the elbow to the outside of the knee. But you don't, you don't want to be like pulling your head up, okay? So arms out wider. And just keep going back and forth. We're really getting those obliques a lot in this workout. We're also getting the back a fair bit because the if you want nicer abs, it's really about working your whole core, which is like, think of the core of an apple. Like it's all that sort of middle section. In order to have, you know, nicer abdominals, you need to have a strong low back. Okay, so now we're going to do a side plank. Doesn't matter which side because we will do both. So roll onto your side. And we're going to try and do a full plank. Last time we did it from our knees. This time we're going to try the full. So come up on your legs. If you need more balance, you can sort of split your legs. And then you can put your arm up. If you need a little bit of balance, you can just rest it here. There should be no pressure, but you could sort of rest it. And just hold. It's a long hold, but it's very good for those obliques. So yes, the core is the whole middle section. So you want to work the obliques, which are part of the abdominal muscles, the front abdominal muscles, and the lower back. And then the whole thing sort of zips in tight like, like, a, like a corset or a girdle. But if you only work one part, then it won't, it doesn't work the way you're hoping it will. And then we're just going to switch sides. And also, it should be known that if you want six packs, it's not just about exercise. You're going to have to change your diet. It's very hard. Kudos to those who can do it. Uh, you know, once upon a time, I thought maybe that was a great goal. Now I just want to not hurt my back, uh, to be strong, and, you know, good posture. I'm not willing to give up some of the, I call it soul food, some of the good food that you would have to give up in order for those muscles to show. Abdominal muscles are deep. 
they're under a layer of fat that's around our abdominals to protect all of our organs. It's there for a reason. So it's just not my goal anymore to have them show. I just want a firm, strong middle that's going to protect me from injury and let me be active as long as I can be in my life. All right. And next up, we're going to do sort of like, um, well, like a, um, it's like a cobra, but we're not having any support. I'm not doing a very good job explaining this. So it's like a half Superman. So arms up, you're just going to lift the back and chest and then lower it down. Now it is harder with your arms extended out like this. If you want it a little bit easier, you can put your hands by your ears and that's just a shorter lever and therefore less challenging for the back to lift. But if you want it a little bit harder, if you find this is a bit easy, then you can put your arms straight out. So the legs are just down on the mat. I tend to keep mine sort of active so that, you know, the muscles are nice and tense. They're not just resting, but it's up to you. So this works all the way up to the mid back, but really you'll feel it right down here. Excellent job, everybody. You just finished level two. Make sure you can do this comfortably before you move on to level three, which I will be posting in the coming weeks. And when it is posted, I'll make sure there's a link down in the description below so that you can find it. Let me know if you like the leveled workouts, one, two, three, and what other body part you'd like to try it for, legs, back, arms, uh, cardio even, let me know, and I will start working on them. Congratulations making it through. I hope you have a great day.